Hi, my name is Margaret Rowland and this is your Two Minute Morning. The Two Minute Morning is fast-paced news for the fast-paced student. The weather today is cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 66. Students and faculty, you can now order pink out shirts for breast cancer. The deadline to order shirts is this Friday, September 17th. This Wednesday, there will be a mobile vaccination clinic in front of the high school. The Pfizer vaccine will be available from 10 to 2 and the second dose will be available on October 6th. There will be voter registration available on voter registration day behind the library during lunch. The girls volleyball team plays Lake Comorant tomorrow and they play Grenada at home on Thursday. This past Saturday, the Oxford football team lost to Ruston with a final score of 28 to 14 in Shreveport, Louisiana at the Independence Bowl. This Friday, the football team plays Lafayette in the Crosstown Classic. The spirit day for school is country, but black for the game. On Saturday, Ole Miss played Austin P and won with the final score of 54 to 13 as the first home game of the season. This was the first home game in two years where tailgating and a full stadium was allowed. To honor those who lost their lives 20 years ago on 9-11, there was a flyover with three military helicopters and fireworks after the game. As well as a great win for Ole Miss, Arkansas had an amazing weekend after they beat Texas 40-21. This was a huge win for Arkansas after only winning three games last year. After such a big win, the Arkansas students and fans rushed the field. Coming off of a national championship, the Ole Miss women's golf team starts defending their title at the Anika Intercollegiate in Lake Elmo, Minnesota. They tee off this morning at 8.40 and play again on Tuesday and Wednesday. That is all the time we have for today. My name is Margaret Rowland and we'll see you tomorrow.